This is AI Test Kitchen, which is Google's experimental demo where they test out all things creative in AI. In this video, we're going to go through how things are moving along at ImageFX, which is their text to image generator tool. And just take a look at some of the examples they're showing us. Portrait of a dog dressed as medieval royalty in vintage. The dog looks very realistic. Photo looks quite realistic. Pretty impressive. So let's launch ImageFX and test it out a classical painting of a dog chasing a cat on a summer's day a very detailed style okay now check at this it was able to identify some of the key things to look at so it's a classical it's a painting of a dog chasing a cat on a summer's day very detailed style. That's pretty impressive because it took mostly the characteristics that you can change and based off of that was able to generate these images. Now if you take a look at these images, these images are pretty incredible actually. I mean that is just the idea that it's able to so quickly capture what I'm looking for. You know for the most part it's just it's just unbelievable. This is honestly like some of the best generation I've seen I but I, obviously we're going to test it out some more and see you know what are the different things that we can change the variables we can change it from being classical to futuristic so let's say a futuristic uh let's go with drawing of a dog chasing a cat on a winter's day very very detailed and let's say cool tones yeah as we can see here the options that they're giving us which is also really incredible the fact that they give us options that align with what it is that we're looking for so i'll say cool tones and let's just go with this one so same idea but changing a lot of these variables let's see what it's able to create a futuristic drawing of a dog chasing a cat on a winter's day very detailed cool tones and also you can actually download these images by the way so okay so let's see what we have here so i think very detailed comes across in a lot of these there's definitely a lot going on so i think it's, it's not bad let's try something completely different and move away from this cat sort of dog thing that we're working with here so let's see it's a start over i'm feeling lucky that's the best option when you can't think of anything new so i'll just go with I'm feeling lucky. A turtle made of potato chips. That's interesting. Oh, okay. So this is a, a turtle made of potato chips. Wow. That is so impressive. They even made the head like an actual potato. Well, this image in particular is just really just unbelievable. I mean, just look at like the detail on these chips. It's just so good. And obviously it still makes it the shape of a, of a turtle. So that, that was accurate. Let's go with another, I'm feeling lucky. Abstract vector line art of a dog using a laptop. I hate to say it, but it really is no difference between paying a designer to create something like that or getting it generated. Yes, I think there are some few details that could be improved and maybe a few tweaks here and there. But I mean, just think about, overall the fact that it's able to generate something like this with such little instructions so clearly i mean this is huge and i guess we can just keep going because there's so many different styles that we could just create and it really just does such a good job at this so this is a yukio uh, painting of a cat hacker wearing vr headsets on a postage stamp no text in any character i must say like this is really good honestly if they put this out on the market i mean i think everyone would just be using this already because this is really incredible and the styles i mean they're all unique but they all have their own unique style that's fitted to the the prompt so so far like all of these prompts have been pretty good in terms of what we're creating so, but anyway one thing I did want to check out was this 35mm film. So let's just say 35mm film of a young... Okay, yeah, I'm convinced that this is definitely going to be huge when this comes out. I mean, just look at the quality of the of the work. It's, it's pretty insane. And yeah, I mean, yeah, Google really has done something incredible here, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty pretty scary as well you know just given the fact that wow in such a short period of time we've come so far 
It was only a year ago, you know, when people thought that, you know, AI was good, but it was just not realistic enough. But this is, I mean, this is as believable as it's going to get, guys. A few tweaks in a few months and, you know, you will not be able to tell AI from reality at all. Honestly, I must say, this has really impressed me. Yes, there are times where things are a bit odd and strange, but if you just look at this image, I mean, this is just an Believable. So what are you guys thoughts? Leave a comment uh, down below in this video and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.